All right, how's it going? I'm uh, I'm actually trying something out here. Uh, spice up some video stuff to see if it be interesting or keep me. Come on, focus on me. Be does it? Anyway, I got something. I didn't pay for it. Not monetarily, I guess. Uh, so I have Spotify Premium. A lot of people do. They had some thing where you like link your Google stuff with it and you get a free uh, Google Mini Home. I figured why not. I don't even think I needed the knife actually. And I do, uh, I've done like unboxing review type things. But I thought it might be interesting if I do one filmed just using my cell phone <clears throat> and in vertical mode. I don't know, it could be a huge disaster, but I got the, the beigey, the beigey pink looking one. <clears throat> it was free, I guess it's normally like, it said it was normally like 50 bucks, but I don't think these usually go for that much. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. Basically, I just want like a Bluetooth speaker. I think, I mean, technically that's all it is, right? It's a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it says it works with Nest, Philips Hue, Wemo, I don't know what that is, Google Chromecast, Google Photos, Spotify, Netflix, and YouTube. So it might be interesting to either have it connected via my, through my phone or my laptop. Well, I have like YouTube here, but I'm like off in the kitchen cooking though. If I have like something playing here, I can just have that over there or have it in the bathroom have music playing I don't know I gotta figure out how to open it coral that's the color it was coral <laughs> Woo! look at that oh because I, I don't know if it has a uh made in China so it has basically one connector here then it has like a maybe it's like an on off switch or something like that it's pretty it's pretty sturdy feeling <clears throat> let's get started let's because I don't I don't know if you have to have it plugged in all the time or not, or there's a battery in it. It's a pretty nifty looking, substantial kind of cord. It's got a little, a little G thing on there. And this is, uh, it's not USB-C, it's like, uh, I think they call it like micro USB. I mean, it's like USB type B. I think that's it. I don't feel like that's it. Let's get started. Plug it in. Get the. I gotta get an app. I don't want to get an app. Jesus Christ. I just want it as a Bluetooth speaker. I gotta plug it in though. I guess. It's not like I don't have enough things that are. Having to be plugged in. Give me a second here. I, gotta... I don't think that's. Oh, that is. Oh crap. Mm. Fuck. My uh, power strip's like all used up over here. I'm not gonna have it here. It's a decent. Oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't do the app if I'm recording with my phone. <clears throat> see if I can, I don't know, we'll see. I didn't really think that through, did I? Download the Google Home app from the Google Play Store. Or the App Store. On a compatible phone or tablet. So it has to be a phone or tablet? Although I do have a, I have an Amazon Fire tablet. Welcome to Google Home. 
To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I didn't really think this through, did I? I can, use, I can go get the tablet for now, I guess. Because <clears throat> I've thought about having my, I got like an Amazon Fire tablet. <clears throat> I've thought about having it, <clears throat> get one of those power stands, then have it set up over there. Then maybe even with that too. <clears throat> While I'm like cooking and cleaning and stuff. And there's like, there's a way you can get like Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire tablet. So I need, <clears throat> what do I need? Google Home app. Uh, Google Home. <clears throat> Cause I wonder if I could do it on my uh, <coughs> computer here. Ah, oh, come on. You know what? Let me... I'll stop this for a second. I'll put it on here. Then that's not going to work, is it? Crap. Let's see if I can do it on my computer. Yeah, let me... That sucks. Okay, so I had to download my, uh... I had to download Google Home on my phone, the app, to get it to, like, set it up and everything. And it is... It is fairly loud for the size of it. Also, I was playing around, too, like, it's... I don't know if you can run it as a Bluetooth speaker itself. It's almost like it's on like it's not like a Bluetooth device, it's its own like standalone device that you have to have the Google Home Store like connected to through Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Whether that's a good thing or bad thing. And it's touch sensitive too on the sides and so I gotta Yeah. But uh but kind of playing around with it, like it'll play. It, you can like play music on it and still have, like looking at like Instagram video, audio like off your phone. So I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna mess around with it. I don't know if I can. I'm sure there's a way I can. Uh... I'm sure there's a way I can put it possibly on my uh... on my computer. But I guess it's just going to act as like a Spotify speaker for now. I don't know. Maybe I could, maybe like I was saying earlier, I could connect it to this. I didn't feel like going through and setting up all the stuff on that to set up the Google. But set that up over there. On this, I was going to get like a little battery charger stand for that. Like have that there. I guess I'd have like the Amazon Alexa or something. I don't know. This was free. This was somewhat affordable when I got it. Huh. I don't know. It's kind of cool, I guess. I'll uh, continue to play around with it. We'll uh, see how it goes. Peace.